Hey guys, Jim and Kelly from Creative Play and Podcast Network here for Hashtag RPG A Day 2017, August the 12th. So Kelly, how have you been liking RPG A Day so far? I, well, I always kind of like it. It makes you think and to tell stories about, you know, stuff. You know, cool games, oh. cool experiences. So for August the 12th, we have which RPG has the most inspiring interior art? For me, you know what I would have to say? What? Scion. The old school books. Mm. Uh, not the, I haven't seen the new ones, but yeah. the Scion books, they have some fantastic pictures that I think that are really, you know, that they do inspire you. You have the Pantheon pictures, but then you also have the stunt pictures and mm -hmm. stuff that I think do a really good job of en encapsulating some of the ideas. Oh yeah, I agree, especially with the Pantheon artwork. It shows the, what the Pantheon used to look like and what the Pantheon looks like now. Yeah. That's a good one. I mean, I do like the D&D &D ones, but, mm -hmm. you know, certain parts, and so a lot of them are good, but, like, I hate the way the draw happens. Like, big heads, little tiny feet. What's up with that? <laughs> They're supposed to be little heads and big feet. You know. Right? <laughs> you no, know, but it's like... Come they're, on. What, I mean, they're distinctly not proportionate, and it's kind of... Okay. It, it's a thing yeah. for halflings. Yeah. You, it's just because you're a halfling junkie. Yeah. Well, you know, it's like, I just, I don't agree. <laughs> <laughs> but they do tieflings pretty good. Yeah, actually, they do. So, I, I'm going to go with the one that we played this last weekend, which is Polaris. Because it had cool artwork in it. When you look at the different factions and how their clothing changes from one faction to the next. Oh, they did have good designs for the hegemony. Oh, yeah. The artwork is really nice. The Coral Republic with mm -hmm. the really cool like tattoos and the sentient coral stuff. Yeah. And they, they did have some very interesting artwork, yes. Yeah. Cool. But, I, I mean, I don't know if it necessarily encapsulates some of the essence of the game. Mm -hmm. Just the style. But, yeah. No, it. It did actually have some very nice artwork. Mm -hmm. So that's our answers for Scion and Polaris. For August the 12th, which RPG has the most inspiring interior art? Because it's all about the interior decorating. Because mm -hmm. you can't judge a book by its cover. <laughs> oh, wait. Wasn't that one of the earlier days? Yeah. <laughs> no, we weren't judging. We were... All right, guys. Thank you for listening. And we'll talk to you on August the 13th. Hi, this is Kelly, a.k.a. Trixie from Ragnarok and Roll, a sign to Ragnarok story, and Tilda Wimblewick from D&D Journey of the Fifth Edition. First off, I would just like to say thank you to everyone for listening to our varied adventures, as well as for rating us on iTunes and RPGpodcast.com. If you haven't rated us yet, we would greatly appreciate it if you could. And if you're looking for more ways to support our efforts, we are now on Patreon, a great site where you can help us continue making more podcasts, as well as some special surprises for our patrons. If you can, please look us up at www.patreon.com slash cppn. Every little bit helps. And again, thank you for listening. Thank you for listening to the Creative Play and Podcast Network. And feel free to enjoy our other shows, such as D&D Journey of the Fifth Edition and Scion Ragnarok and Roll, a Scion hero to Ragnarok story. Thank you for listening.